All set? Yes. So uh, can you tell me who about yourself? Tell me who you are and what you do for Hamilton Family. So my name is Ivory Collins. I am a housing navigator specialist for housing, uh, rapid rehousing. Um, I've been with Hamilton almost 18 years come September, this September. I started uh, September 2003. Hey. Um, I started in the shelter, the emergency shelter. We were over in the Haight Ashbury district. And then we merged to uh, the shelter now, which is at 260 Golden Gate. And I was there up until about four years ago, five years ago, and then I became a navigator specialist. Wonderful. So, I mean, how does your experience as a Black woman affect your work? I mean, I, I know just from my limited perspective that Hamilton family works with a lot of Black and Brown families. And um, from what I'm hearing, a lot of those families are also single mothers. So, like, what's your perspective? How does, you know, your experience as a Black woman affect how you interact with these incredible humans? I think, this is just my perception, <laughs> I think that because I'm older, I'm 60, I just turned 60. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and um, the interaction that I do with the families almost as if I'm mom. Mm. I try and guide them in right directions because most of my families are young. They're like, I want to say from 18 uh, and up, but mostly a lot of young mothers with children, more than one sometimes. And I try and work with them to kind of guide them in the right directions. Because um, a lot of our families don't have, um, never had their mom, their dad, no upbringings, no nothing. Yeah. They're out there. Yeah really sad to see young mothers who has never had a mom themselves to be a mother to them. Right. So I try and almost put myself as if I was their mom. Yeah. I, I love that. I, I, I've always felt like w one of the things that I wish um, the rest of society could see is how I experience Black motherhood. And it's just one of the most powerful forces in the world. So I love that you're... Um, I just really love that you're able to have the perspective uh, of, of being a mother to these people because I think that's one of the biggest disservices that any human can go through is not having family in that way um, and attempting to forge a path with a family of their own. So that I'm sure that is invaluable to um, the people that you work with. I, I'm sure it is. I could only imagine that. It but is. And on top of that, the fa um, families need to know that you they can trust you. Once you gain their trust, it's all open, right? It's open range. Mm -hmm. and that's what that's that's the way I interact with them to let them know that you can trust me. I just want to help you. That's all I want to do is help you and your children because it's not fair that children are homeless. They didn't ask to be homeless. Absolutely. So with that, I want to help the families. I want to help them grow. I want to put the right things out there for them. You know, I, it's. We have to be positive with the families and have empathy and sympathy with them. You know, um, yeah, I, 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 I just love the families. I love working with the families. And um, these are our future generation. This is my future generation. Mm -hmm. And I want it to be right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. I want it to be right because I might need one of these children. And so, um, you know, it's important that we always think positive and lead the families into a positive direction. Mm. Um, I know they go through a lot, but they need to know that we're here to support them. Absolutely. I, I, I love that. Um, and I wanted to also ask you, like, what is the working environment like? Uh, as a Black woman in Hamilton families, like I, I, working with the actual families is one journey, but also being in a space with a collective group of people all working towards the same goal as a Black woman in, in business, like what's that all like? Um, as far as my colleagues? Yeah, the, the, the um, system that kind of supports the families. You know what? I love it because we all put our heads together. And if we have a difficult family, we can go to each other 
and try and work it out. And I, I like to get ideas from my colleagues. Um, sometimes I run into difficult um, situation with different families and different barriers that they have. And so I think we are a close knit um, family. Mm. I think of Hamilton as my family. That's I think of colleagues as my family or part of my family. Mm -hmm. um, and they're my to go to. I always go to them. So um, I think it's great. I think we have a great team over here. Yeah, I, it seems like it. I mean, they, they always say, you know, things start from the top. So how are you meant to be of service to anyone else if you yourself don't feel supported? And how can you support the next um, person along the line if you don't feel that? So I love to hear that, like, you feel that Hamilton Families is a family. I think it it's all in the name and that that name is living up to its expectation. It's good to hear. I think we need more of that in the world, I feel. Yes, we do. We do. Sorry, give me one second. <laughs> I was holding in a cough. Good heavens. Um, what do you think sets Hamilton families apart from other similar organizations? I think the um, fact that we have stability mm. who steps in after we move the families and we still have like aftercare mm. um, in our transition program. We have an aftercare program. Even though you move from transitional, your children can still come back through the program. Mm. And um, that's what I really like is that long-term, we will always be there for you, always. You can always come back to Hamilton. That's one thing that is different from any other organization is that you can come back to Hamilton. You know, you mentioned, and, and I, I love that, you mentioned, um, about how, how it's a family and how you attempt to fit in the space of mother to the families that you work with. And, I, and I'm and i thinking about this when I think of like, you know, we're in Black History Month and I tend to think about it throughout the year just because of the work that I do and, and, the, and the human I'm trying to become. Mm -hmm. I think especially around this time, I'm, I'm just, I sit a lot of time with the legacy of, of the Black culture of, um, the people who came before me. And I think for some reason, the thing that always comes up is I find so much heart in our community, um, mm -hmm. so much love and compassion. And, and the idea that Hamilton families builds an environment that is often some people's first trust. It's their first opportunity in their current state to feel taken care of and to feel seen. And for some reason, that is how I see our black community. Like, I'm like, when we love, we love hard. We can love, yes. hard, we love <laughs> for, for long periods of time. And, and I love that Hamilton family seems to embody that because I just think one of the saddest things about how our country can function is that it doesn't highlight that version of our reality. That like yes. the people that I come from are loving and the people that I come from know how to build foundations for growth and success in in a way that I think is profound and and to know that there are organizations out there like Hamilton families who it seems it's like in the very DNA of your organization to make that someone's reality is like breathtaking to be quite yes, honest it is. <laughs> yes um I also wanted to ask you what makes you proud to say you're a part of Hamilton families like when you're when you're talking to your, your 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 biological family or when you're running to people on the street who ask what you do like what's that like thing that, a source of pride for you the fact that we i think out of all the nonprofits here in san francisco i think hamilton is at the top yeah because we really we, we're really into helping families and, and guiding these families. And I love the way that we love our families and we give all the different services to our families. I love that about Hamilton. Yeah. And that was one thing that really made me excited when I came to Hamilton to see how we just helped it. We don't turn anyone away, yeah. never turn anyone away. And I, love that about Hamilton. I love the fact that um, family is first. Yeah. Family is first. In this organization, family is first. And I love that. Yeah. I tell everybody about Hamilton. <laughs> I pass out cards 
my, my business cards to people. Mm. I want them to know about Hamilton. I even ask people, you should give us some money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> because we're helping families and they need things. So can you give us some money? Right. And and you know, the truth of the matter is like, I think everyone deserves humanity. I yes. think everyone deserves an opportunity. It's promised to us as citizens of this country. Yes. And I think the work that you do, that you all do, is it in an effort to make good on that promise. Um, circumstances of people's lives are are challenging and sometimes so far above anything they ever asked for. Again, we're just born into this world. We have no choice in how that happens or who that happens to. So to know that that is true and that also the circumstances of our society may dictate that a family, a person may experience homelessness and they really had very little control over it is scary. And to know that there are yes, it is. out there, they're like, no, this country promised us something. We as humans owe something to one another. So let me be part of the solution is crazy to me. I, 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 I think it is easy for everyday humans like myself to forget the incredible work of an organization and people like you all at Hamilton Families. But I do want to ask, like, how it is easy to assume what you all do for your participants, for those families. Mm -hmm. But how do they affect you? How have they changed the way you do your work, the way you see the world, the way you walk through life, working with these incredible families? How has it changed me? Mm -hmm. Um. I think it made me open my arms to everyone because everybody comes to me. Everybody, believe it or not, comes to me, my family, my friends. And so I just think it has just made me um, Mother Teresa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's how I feel. Like I'm Mother Teresa because everybody comes to me. Um, everybody calls, oh, Miss Ivy. Uh, this is what's going on. Can you help me? Right. And it's just how I feel. I just think it's made me a better person and to see really what's going on, the reality of what's going on, especially here in um, San Francisco. Hmm. Um, because when I came to, when I moved here in 1978, San Francisco was not like this. Right. So, I mean, there was a few homeless single adults, but when I saw families, that just made me feel so sad because like I say, I can imagine a child feeling like, where am I gonna get my next meal? Where am I gonna lay my head? I've ran into situations like that. I've taken people off of the streets to our shelter mm. um, who had children. So it just, I feel like it's made me a better person to just love everyone. Yeah to help everyone that I can help. Absolutely. To the best of my ability. To if the, I know I can help someone, why not? To the best of my ability. And I think yes. I think that's the thing that most everyday humans like myself forget how much ability we really have. I, I say it all the time. At the very least, I can look someone in the eye and say, I can't help you, I'm sorry. Because a human was speaking to me. I think about that a lot it's become something I've tried to make happen in practice is like, I may not have any extra change or I may not have opportunity or money for myself, especially during a pandemic, but I certainly have the top five seconds to look another human in the eye who saw me so I can see them. Um, yes. That goes a long way, I think. And, and last question, uh -huh. <laughs> what's something that you would like the everyday human who knows nothing about Hamilton families to know? Like what's something you'd like me or anyone who's like, I have no idea this exists. What would you like us to To know that there are services out there that you can get help. You just got to open your mouth and ask. Mm -hmm. There are services out here. And like you say, even if you don't have money in your pocket, change or whatever, um, I always say, well, listen, if you're hungry, I can tell you different places that you can go to and get food. Um, why not give them the information if they don't know? And for the most part, a lot of people don't know that we even exist. Mm -hmm. They don't. And that's hopefully what the, this Instagram takeover hopefully is going to be an effort to change that because 
<clears throat> sometimes just having the information that you can pass along is just as powerful because I, again, I may not have the money myself, but I know where you can get a meal and where right. you can get support and, and, and feel seen by people whose whole goal is to just make sure you survive and live well. So, yeah. Yes. Well, that was my last question. Oh, okay. Well, it was a pleasure talking with you. Oh, the pleasure was all mine. Thank you again. I, I, this is just really exciting for me to be able to join you all's family for a day. <laughs>